That was Enter Sandman from Metallica, nominated for a few video music awards. Now it's time to meet Sonic Youth. Now they've been together for 10 years and they've just released a brand new album. It's called Dirty. And they just played 100%. They're playing for us in a little bit. Please welcome Sonic Youth. The brand new record is, uh, is called Dirty. Could you, could you tell me why you called it Dirty? Um, well, it was sort of um, based off the artwork, which was done by this artist, Mike Kelly. And um, he, he goes out and he gets uh, dirty stuffed animals from Salvation Armies. And this is just a particular series of work that he did. And it sort of represents the sort of cast off childhood repression, uh, loss of innocence, nostalgic for innocence, um, you know, that really ties in with the American Puritan ethic. Uh, well said. How's how that about, for you, daytime TV <laughs> viewers? <laughs> well done. Write that down for a transcript. Anyway, how about 100%, the first tune, the tune that you just played? What's Yeah, what's that's just a simple song that's sort of like a love song to a good friend of ours who was unfortunately uh, killed in Los Angeles last year as part of a, a robbery, and he was killed by people like his age, you know, and the kids with guns and who were just, you know, uh, living the criminal life, et cetera, et cetera. And it's just a real drag. This was somebody who was close to us and somebody who had a real kind of potential creative future as a person. I mean, somebody, uh, you know, that was like a real star to us. And uh, the song is just simple. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, if, I don't know if you've seen the video for it, but the video sort of doesn't really glorify any of the violent aspects of what was going on. It's, it's basically about two friends um, and one reflecting on the loss of another, and that's all it is. Do you get more inspiration from, like, turbulent aspects of life or, or like, you know, more consonant things? I mean... What do you think you get the most inspiration from, songwriting-wise? We get inspiration from the whole, everything. I mean, it's just like everything in our lives is an inspiration to us. Um, we don't really think the dark side of life is any more interesting than the lighter side. Um, yeah, it's sort of a yin and yang thing. <laughs> Ain't it, though? <laughs> um, how about, you told me, this sounds really exciting. There's a film coming out that, uh, it's a performance film with, with Sonic Youth, Soundgarden, Babes in Toyland. No, 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 wait, no, wait, wait, no wait. Soundgarden. Not Soundgarden. <laughs> what is it? It's that other band oh. from Seattle, uh, Nirvana. Life TV. Well, you're welcome. I uh, met Sonic Youth, and then uh, you've got a bunch of different Dinosaur bands. Yeah. So what's this about? It's a film we made last summer when we were touring festivals in Europe, like Reading Festival in England and a bunch of other ones on the continent. And it's, it's uh, made by a filmmaker from L.A. called Dave Markey. That's a friend of ours. We've worked with him before. It's footage of us and Dinosaur Jr., Nirvana, Babes in Toyland, Gumball, and a lot of wacky backstage antics. <laughs> the search for Iggy Pop at Reading. Well, what's it All called? Different, it's called 1991, The Year Punk Broke. Now, how do you, how do you, where does the title come from? How do you, how does that Well, we were watching it? on, on your station, actually, like, all this weird stuff go down, like, Motley Crue singing Anarchy in the UK in front of, like, <laughs> 60,000 fans, and it was like, wow, this is the year, finally, that the message gets across, you know? And here we were touring, Nir it, huh? you know, Nirvana was opening up for us, and, like, six months later, they were, like, on, you know, on top of Michael Jackson's but. <laughs> well said. All right. Well, I uh, appreciate you coming by, and you've got another tune to play from the Goo record. And uh, so thanks for coming by.